Hi everybody, uh, Dean here. <clears throat> we uh, wanted to give an update on my aquaponics and the direction it's been going. Uh, a lot of challenges having it outside. We did a, uh, um, I've had a lot of challenges with the water evaporation. A lot of it's because of the heat, which I didn't have when I was in the, in the house. Uh, we had a pretty bad algae bloom at one point. Uh, the filtration system I have set up in there is this, uh, uh, this right here. And the water is coming out of the bottom. As the fish swim around, it comes out of the bottom, goes around, and goes into my uh, <coughs> reservoir, or, uh, irrigation. I have some fish in there. I've got about, uh, I think there's probably about 10 goldfish left. Uh, they're growing actually pretty quick. I had 50 in there originally. And uh, the algae bloom happened shortly after that. I was feeding them uh, duckweed, and for some reason it just it just took off, and and uh, so I lost I lost all of them. I think there's still ten in there, and they're doing real well. They're growing pretty good. Uh, I decided just to put basil in there to see what it would look like, and as you can see, the basil's not doing as well. Uh, when I had this system in my basement, that basil would have been probably twice the size it is now with a lot uh, thicker stalks, a lot heavier, a lot more flowers and that kind of thing. Uh, and there's my apple tree. As you can see over here uh, where our other basil is at that we planted in the ground, it's doing real well. It's flourishing and uh, uh, got some good flowers on it and, and uh, it's looking pretty good. So, um, like I said, it's been some challenges. I think once I get it down, though, it'll be uh, it'll work out pretty well. I uh, got the water set up to where it's uh, uh, cycling through about every 20 minutes. That'll shut off here probably just two or three minutes more than likely. And uh, anyway, that's where we're at. I put some heaters in there because the water was getting too cold at night. It was dropping down to about I don't know 61, 62. Uh, I was kind of worried about the goldfish, but actually uh, when the water dipped down that low uh, for a couple nights before I had the heaters in there, it didn't, uh, didn't affect it. didn't affect them at all. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to leave the basil in there, uh, and I'm just going to leave it alone pretty much, see what it does. Now, we have a potato plant that we pulled out that I'm not sure it's going to it add some potatoes on it. And uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to come back, so what I'm going to do is in the next day or two, if it doesn't look real well, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. And I'm going to try a big experiment by placing it in there uh, and see if it helps it survive. I don't know of anybody at this point, I don't know of anybody who's ever grown tomatoes uh, or, uh, excuse me, potatoes uh, in a uh, aquaponics system. Uh, I know somebody did carrots once and uh, uh, some other type of tube vegetable. I forget what it was. And they looked awful. They were just horrible looking. They were uh, all crooked and bent up. And in one case, one of the carrots actually uh, uh, had some of the material in between it uh, that, was, that was there. Um, as you can see, that's not really where I'd like for it to be right now. I'd like for that to be have some water coming in there. Well, maybe it just dried out because it's actually filling up and not cycling turf. Um, so, anyway, that's where we're at. That's my update. I know I said I was going to give weekly updates before, but uh, there was really nothing to update. Everything was just kind of moving real slow, and, uh, and we had all those problems, and it looked pretty ugly there for a while. I went ahead and let that bush grow. The goldfish tend to like to, to lay under it. Uh, so I will let you know when something new happens. Uh, I'm thinking about setting up this unit right here, hoping that will help filter out some of the water, uh, the, you know, the wastewater, help make it pure a little bit. As you can see, the water coming out of the system is clear, and it should be clear enough that it's, uh, uh, well, I don't know about now because it doesn't have enough plants in it, but... Once, if that thing was full of plants, that water would be just crystal clear, pure coming out of there. So, anyway, um, that's where we're at, and I'll talk to you guys later. 
Uh, remember, uh, if you guys need want to buy or sell a home, uh, contact Irene or me. Uh, we will help you get that set up. And uh, uh, I guess that's about it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.